Percy Spencer, the brilliant American engineer, revolutionized radar technology during World War II, aiding in the detection of Nazi airplanes. Little did he know that his groundbreaking invention would go on to have some unexpected and exciting applications. Back in 1945, Spencer finds himself in the presence of a magnetron, a powerful device that emits high-intensity microwaves capable of bouncing off planes. Suddenly, he notices something peculiar. His candy bar has melted in his pocket. Intrigued, Spencer starts experimenting, exposing various objects to the magnetron. To his amazement, popcorn kernels explode with a satisfying pop, and an unfortunate colleague becomes the victim of an explosion. It wasn't long before the first microwave oven was born, utilizing this very same technology. But how does it work, you wonder? In the fascinating world of light energy and its oscillating electric and magnetic fields, light energy travels in waves, spanning a wide range of frequencies within the electromagnetic spectrum. The more energetic the frequency, the higher its intensity. We're talking gamma rays and X-rays at the top and microwaves and radio waves at the lower end of the spectrum. Light's oscillating electric field has a remarkable effect on charged particles within molecules. When light encounters polar molecules, such as water, it sets them into a delightful dance, causing them to rotate as they are pushed and pulled in different directions. The frequency of the light also determines how it interacts with matter. Microwaves, with their low frequency, have a strong interaction with water molecules, which are found abundantly in most foods. Voila! The magic behind the microwave oven is that it comes equipped with a cavity magnetron. When you hit that start button, a heated element within the magnetron propels electrons forward, while a powerful magnet compels them to spiral outward. As these electrons traverse the metallic cavities of the magnetron, they induce an oscillating charge, resulting in a continuous stream of electromagnetic microwaves. These microwaves are then directed into the food compartment through a metal pipe, bouncing off the walls and penetrating a few centimeters into your delicious meal. Now, what happens when those microwaves meet the polar molecules in your food, like water? The microwaves cause these molecules to vibrate at incredibly high frequencies. Depending on the composition of your food, this can lead to a variety of exciting reactions. Oil and sugar, being less inclined to absorb microwaves, don't experience much change when heated alone. However, when a marshmallow enters the microwave arena, the trapped moisture within its gelatin sugar matrix heats up, causing the marshmallow to puff up and become delightfully gooey. Butter, on the other hand, is a combination of water droplets suspended in fat. When microwaved, the water vaporizes rapidly, resulting in a quick and sometimes exuberant melting of the butter. Let's put any fears to rest. Microwaves heat your food by creating friction between its molecules, but they don't alter them chemically. So that soup you're heating in the microwave? It's chemically indistinguishable from a soup heated on a stove or in an oven. The term microwave radiation might sound a bit alarming, but in the world of physics, radiation simply refers to the transfer of energy. Microwaves lack the energy required to alter chemical bonds, so rest easy. Microwave ovens are also designed to prevent any leakage for safety and efficiency reasons. To be on the safe side, experts recommend keeping a few feet of distance between yourself and a running microwave. Ah, the age-old question. Is it dangerous to microwave metal? Well, it's a bit more nuanced. Metals are conductors, meaning their electrons are free to move in response to electric fields. Rather than absorbing microwave radiation, the electrons and metal concentrate on the surface, resulting in high voltages at sharp edges, corners, and tiny gaps. This is why you might see sparks when using aluminium foil, forks, or any metal object with your microwave. In some cases, the voltages can become high enough to strip electrons from the surrounding air molecules, creating a plasma that resembles lightning-like sparks. But fear not, once the microwave is turned off, the plasma dissipates. However, not all metal objects spark in the microwave, although they might cause your food to cook unevenly. In fact, many microwavable packaging takes advantage of this, using a thin metal coating to achieve that perfect crispy texture. 
From detecting enemy planes to melting candy bars, popping popcorn, and exploding eggs, Percy Spencer's incredible discovery has brought us the wonder of microwave ovens.